Hello and welcome to this new episode of In Conversation. Today we have not one but two important guests with us. First is Mr. Dinesh Tyagi, a former bureaucrat who is now the CEO of CSC VLE network in the country. Along with him, we have Smita Bhagat, Group Head HDFC Bank. And today we'll have very interesting discussion on how CSC VLE and HDFC Bank have transformed life of hundreds and thousands of people in rural and semi-urban areas because of this very good partnership between CSC VLE and HDFC Bank over the last two years. I would like to know from Tyagi sir, what kind of initiatives CSC VLE is taking across the country with HDFC Bank? Thank you very much, Sanjay, for uh, inviting me. And thank you, Smitaji, for inviting me to share what is being done across the country in associations with HDFC through the Common Service Center Networks. COVID-19 has thrown large number of challenges. There are also thrown large number of opportunities. Uh, first, of course, the challenges were that many of the uh, common service centers were not allowed to open in the first phase. But after the first phase, suddenly we did try and uh, got the interventions from the Home Ministry and our ministry and try and uh, saw that uh, all the common service centers uh, can start functioning. So second phase of the uh, notification which came was that allowed common service centers to start operating uh, and functioning and delivering services with, of course, the permission from the local authority and local administration. So uh, and this is how the journey began. And uh, one of the things which SDFC has helped quite a lot is one of the big challenges during the COVID was Government of India, uh, under the various schemes which were announced, has transferred money to a large number of people. Uh, there were Jandhan account holders, which are about 20 crores. There were Ujwala ben- beneficiaries, who were about 8 crores. And there are similar number of other incentives provided to farmers, uh, the farmers' installment of 9 crores. 37 crore people, the cash was dispersed into the accounts. So the cash was transferred. But it was difficult for people in the villages to draw that money. So the SDFC framework, which helped quite a lot wherever we have the BC with the SDFC, was enabling people to at least know whether the money has been transferred to the account and also withdraw. The uh, other beneficiaries were pension holders and, of course, uh, the handicapped people who also were transferred money on behalf of the government and they wanted to use this money in crisis time. The advantage of Common Service Center is that the village level entrepreneur in such cases goes to the house of the person and through our system or at disperse the money to them. This has really benefited a fairly large bank of population who in this period of time was unable or were not even allowed to go to the branch. As EFC relationship with common service centers is a benefit large communities across the country for getting the benefit withdrawal which has been transferred to their accounts uh, by the government in various schemes and programs. As you said, Tagiji, the most important thing was to make the benefits of the government reach the last person. So how this social distancing was maintained and ensured? In addition to our association with the SGFC, uh, the Common Service Centers has also actively participated in promoting and creating awareness about the various steps need to be taken by the community for dealing with COVID-19. One of the things which Government of India assigned to us was to enable people to download the Arogya Setu app. So these uh, entrepreneurs help the village people in downloading the Arogya Setu app. So far about more than three crore of the Arogya Setu app has been downloaded through the Common Service Network. Most of the women entrepreneurs, more women CAC operators who are working in villages have made masks out of the clothes and distributed free to the communities where they live in. So about 70 lakhs of um, the mask has been distributed. Some have distributed even the sanitizers, distributing masks, distributing sanitizers, and in addition, whether there is a need Many of the common service centers, a large number of them, have distributed food. So these three things, in any case, is done to help the communities. Creating awareness was one of our objectives. So social distancing and wearing masks and trying following precautions in case you have problems was the mandate given to us, and we had done it across the country through the common service centers. The uh, point is mentioned that when they are going to disperse the money, do they follow? One of the precautions they take it is themselves wear a mask. 
the precautions are taken precautions are sent to them in detail explained to them in the various formats besides the challenges you also mentioned about uh, we have also one of the opportunities a huge opportunity which came in our way uh, was through common service center in urban area fortunately there are opportunities people can place an order online and then there are people who can supply in rural areas it is very difficult because there are no platforms available in order to help communities to buy essential goods so we started this program called csc gramini store and the csc gramini store is actually evolved because of meeting the basic needs of community during the covid-19 period so this is an opportunity for us and we are very close to doing 1 lakh of these uh, gramini stores the uh, the point which our honorable prime minister said make local and be vocal i think that's been fulfilled quite a lot because uh, many of these uh, people are uh, making local things uh, local items and uh, then supplying within the communities so it's a very simple operation uh, the cc operator become a business shop and uh, the community get download the app for placing order uh, from the various products so almost everything which the community need during these times and unable to go to the market and buy them the common service centers operators the gramini stores have really fulfilled that gap and help quite a lot and of course there are a lot of uh, employment being generated in the sense that for supplying the material uh, you need people so they engage two three people uh, who will go and supply the material and then uh, get it done Uh, we need to associate and uh, take some help from SDFC in order to take it forward and make it a real movement for uh, long term. Because we do believe that in the rural India, uh, it is difficult for any large player to go. So we will fill up the gaps of the local material procurement, and the farmers can sell his goods, which the uh, CAC operator can buy, and meet the logistic requirement of supplying to the customers. within the area this is an opportunity which came because of covid we were probably we were thinking of it but i think it would take a little longer time for us to establish the whole thing and uh, during the short period of about uh, one and a half month 2 lakh of the orders have been supplied and materials for more than about 7 crore has been distributed through the uh, gramini store our ambition is to make 2 lakh gramini stores and uh, employ about 5 people so about a million people will get jobs to the gramini stores across the country that's our objective i vividly remember last year one of our vlees had one of bottom of cities vents in the current context can you think of any such instance where a stakeholder whether it's a vle or a customer uh, would have benefited like this from from our arrangement after the second uh, uh, notification from ministry of home affairs had been allowed we are saying the uptick on uh, uh, loans uh, by various people we have one person who has sold about three tractors in tamil nadu and uh, they, there are uh, people who are now buying cars we have got a uh, few cases of uh, our customers are really able to sell uh, cars to the citizen but you will appreciate that uh, covid has given a setback to buying these vehicles it's picking up but it just started one of the new scheme which has been launched by the sgfc and we are grateful to sgfc where they saying that for women the two wheelers can be purchased uh, at at a very fairly uh, reasonable conditions Uh, both in terms of interest and otherwise a uh, similar scheme has been also uh, uh, announced by the sdfc for uh, implementation for the village level entrepreneur uh, we do believe that because of our gramin store our village level entrepreneur will need not only one but two three of these two wheelers there will be a large number of the village level entrepreneurs who will start buying for themselves uh, two wheelers and uh, use uh, wherever there is a gramin store so we also speaking to specifically and telling them if you are you setting up a gramin store there is a necessity for you to also build up infrastructure in order to take the business forward we also working with some of the logistic company i i, I just mentioned uh, covid has given us a setback before the covid we had done phenomenally well through sdfc association in promoting buying cars and and uh, scooters and uh, tractors Uh, but suddenly they there was because of the lockdown there was some impact and uh, last fortnight we are again seeing the starting uh, work in relation to these items and uh, hopefully with some more advocacy some more aggressiveness 
you should be able to try and do some work. While this is no secret how our association with CACs has positively impacted lives in rural India, can you cite a few examples here for the benefit of our viewers? SGFC has been a great support for CAC. And thanks to Mr. Puri, Smita Bhagat and your team, they've been a great uh, motivator. They've been supporting quite a lot. Our uh, digital uh, village program, uh, which started, uh, actually initiated uh, the first time with the SGFC support. And then, of course, government of India picked up the scheme, started doing something of that nature. But uh, look at the, uh, the SGFC support system that they believe that it is true for us to try and create something in the villages. And that's why digital village. So we are 2,500 digital villages supported by SGFC. And uh, these villages are done phenomenally well. Uh, all the activity which happened in this village, whether it's mass making, whether it's advocacy, happened because this is a digital village supported by SGFC. SGFC has also supported us for doing digital village in entire district, in three districts. We started uh, the program and because of COVID, there's some gap and hopefully we should be able to complete and create really a good model for the entire country that you can, through digitization, you can convert the village economy into a format, as you mentioned, which will be as good and also can help and address issues of migration from villages to urban areas. Our objective is also to create some activity in the rural India where people can use it. Uh, work for whom our minister has said this, that common service centers for villages should become centers for work for home. You can go to CAC centers and operate and start working for it. Uh, the SDFC has been a great uh, support for CAC and uh, we can't forget our relationship is something more meaningful than only sanctioning loans and getting other part of the story. SGFC is in a great organization in supporting something which government wanted to do and fits into the system of empowering communities and enabling citizens to access services which they will also will need in order to uh, address issues on uh, income generation. What's been the journey like so far and how do you see the future from here? Thank you Neeraj and thank you Tyagi ji. Uh, for all the kind words and for, uh, talk, uh, kind words you spoke about association of HDFC and CSC. Neeraj, I would like to bring here that, you know, people talk about adoption of technology in rural areas and they talk about why in rural areas, people, uh, smartphone penetration is increasing, people are using data, etc. But how have we used technology for uh, development and empowering the rural area? And I think CSE and HDFC partnership is a great example where technology has been used to uh, reach out to the last mile in the country with all banking products. Due to technology integration with CSE, today HDFC is in a position through the VLEs to extend all the asset and liability and payment products to the uh, common citizens or to the people living in villages, semi-urban rural areas. So this uh, partnership actually is very, very unique. And I think in next few months, or I would say next few years, this will be uh, a, a partnership where people will talk about how public-private partnership can bring development and make and bring in ease for uh, ease in rural areas as far as banking is concerned. You know, in uh, like HDFC Bank is always known to find opportunity in challenges. When the lockdown started and when government and RBI wanted BCs to become fully operational to make sure that, uh, uh, you know, banking services are available to everyone. Today, as I speak, we have done more than 25 to 30 lakh transactions in uh, through our BCs and ex more than 100 crores worth of transactions have been done. And that has happened only because, uh, you know, both the companies, both the employees of the companies believe in each other and have worked together to make this happen. We are all seeing uh, uh, as the lockdown is easing, uptake uh, and government's focus in rural segment. You know, we are seeing in last 15 days, as Kyagi ji also said, uh, a demand for tractor loan coming in, two wheelers coming in. The partnership is growing and I'm sure will continue to grow and uh, strengthen to make, uh, you know, to partner with the government in uh, growing our rural economy. And e gramming stores, what uh, ESC has done, I think it's, it's a path-breaking concept because that is how uh, 
you know, in rural areas, uh, when we talk about local ko vocal karo. So that is where, you know, people, whatever is grown in rural areas, they are actually bringing it to the customers through this uh, e-gramming store. And you will be surprised and amazed that this entire thing is done on a mobile app. That how really is upload the products available, how the customers can order and how they deliver. And anyone who does, does this business obviously needs a bank. And that is where we want to partner and make sure that uh, they get all the support going forward. All the e-gramming stores get their banking needs fulfilled from the bank. And uh, I hope for the best. You know, my question is any particular digital platforms or technology that you look uh, uh, the, or rather that you think can be uh, deployed or are being deployed in the rural areas uh, through CSC and, and, or through e -Gramin. So Rajiv, uh, I say that uh, is very advanced in terms of adopting technology, in terms of execution technology and using technology to, you know, create entrepreneurship. If you see the entire model of CSE is actually on digital platform and that is where it was so much more easier for HDFC to integrate with them and take the products to the last mile in the country. To, to be very honest, in this partnership right now, no external vendor is required. Tyagi sir said that we are planning to have a say around 2 lakh CSC e gramming stores and he also needs help from the bank to strengthen the network and bank to be the partner in that. Tyagi sir, this I think will be something of we can say like Amazon or Flipkart for rural India. The gramming e stores in any case are unique. Uh, you did name some e-commerce platform. I'm not going to name because unique in the sense we are not in competition. Nobody goes to rural India. None of the name which you mentioned has ever gone to rural India and in future unlikely go to rural India. So that space is vacant and therefore TC Grammy in East will fill up the space which nobody is occupied and in our view is unlikely to occupy. So this is a huge opportunity. In addition, there are a large number of other players who might use the CSE logistic tank in order to deliver product rather than creating their own logistics. So CSE Grameen e-store will do local product sale, local procurement, and also meet the logistic requirements of big players. So the both segments in that area can be completed and fulfilled by the common service center. So it's a great uh, synergy. The banking requirement for this is because every transaction needs financial for the time being, we are not put any of these banking systems into the CAC Grameen store. We do largely cash on delivery. Our belief is that for the present, we have one lakh of these uh, which are likely to come up. If there are 200 customers in each of them, we get two crore of the customers. Two crore customers being serviced through this network on almost everyday basis, which is what? And they will need some support system in order to make payment. We also want to do electronic payment and not take cash. Presently, also, we don't insist on cash. It's called cash on delivery, but it's actually not physical cash. We will use some system uh, with support from SGFC where uh, these uh, Grameni stores can use the payment mechanism in order to pay. The customer can pay to the same system to the Grameni store. So the entrepreneur's behavior, both in terms of cash flows and in terms of business, what he's doing will be known to the bank. Bank will be able to try and make judgments in order to create more assets for him both in terms of local inventory, also go downs, also for hiring spaces in order to deliver those goods and services. So we do believe that this is going to be really transformative and we are not in competition with any, but we are, is a unique space. Uh, LGFC supported us in something like uh, sanitary pad making uh, things in, in rural India. Our common service centers has large stocks of what they've built in, so they had given free to them, wherever we have about thousands of units and uh, largely supported by as GFC, and these women had distributed sentry pad. So they're a phenomenal work, and uh, this is a great story, and this credit should go to Smitaji because she was one who tried and help us in doing it. One of the other things which we have done is to educate, uh, to create uh, opportunity for children who are not able to go to school and read. So we launched something called a CSE Olympiad uh, from class 3 to class 12 in almost 3 to 4 subjects. And uh, it is surprising that we got uh, one lakh registration done. And this is all rural. That's an amazing. Swetha, my question to you is particularly uh, related to the MyApp range of products. Uh, can you take us through this particular range, keeping in mind the entire lockdown and the pandemic? 
Thank you, Rajiv. Uh, you know, a very good question because you saw, you see, see our my, my range of products is for urban local bodies, for uh, societies, for religious uh, institutions. And you see that in these times, the society, people living in flats, people living in societies, we actually uh, had our mobile ATMs which were visiting these societies. And uh, there uh, we spoke about what are the facilities, etc. The My Apps can bring the members of the society, the convenience which it can bring for uh, doing their, you know, daily or monthly transactions. So My App, My Society App has generated very good response. In these times when you know that all the religious institutions are closed and by and large, uh, you know, uh, you know that in, in, in India, uh, religion is a way of life, irrespective of the communities. I mean, religion is very important part of everyone's life. So my prayer app, you know, our first went live, Mathura Jain Temple, which is a very, very well-known temple. We have in, in these times, almost 300 temples and religious institutions have showed interest because when people will not be able to visit, they actually will be able to do live darshan. Uh, etc. and actually donate also online to their temples of their choices or to the uh, religious institutions where they have faith. Also, if you see that, you know, urban local bodies, panchayats have been very active in terms of meeting requirement for common citizens and they have been uh, wanting online solutions. So that also we have been providing. So my app has been a, a good, uh, this thing initiated by the bank. And in these times uh, when everybody is adopting more and more online uh, solutions uh, for these segments also, it's proving to be uh, really, uh, you know, meeting customers' requirement. Now, the COVID and the lockdown, uh, you know, has, uh, I mean, something or the other, all of us have learned from it. My question is to both of you, what has been the learning for, for uh, you? Neeraj, change is the only constant thing we have in life. I mean, our, this COVID has actually, you know, made us learn and unlearn a lot of things. I mean, the new normal, the new way of working, the new way of looking at things and how businesses are going to change, how our way of working is going to change. The focus on the rural economy, finding out opportunities there. These are some of the interesting things which have come up. I would say starting from work from home, I think this is a very interesting change. Point number two, you know, the way of doing business is going to see a big change. You know, how technology will play a very important uh, role, how customer behavior uh, is going to change and how soon we are able to adopt our products and offerings and re-engineer them to suit their requirements. And how do we actually look at opportunities, some businesses will see, uh, you know, drastic change or great opportunities. For example, we have been an agri economy, but now the way, you know, in next 18 to 24 months, the way ag agri and rural segment will be seen would be very, very interesting. I would like to see positive things. I would believe that this is going to get over very soon. We all have to go on. Life has to go on. It will be a different word completely after COVID. Uh, even social uh, values will change, behavior patterns of people will get redefined and of course the working conditions are already officially uh, our minister and our minister has said work for home will become a norm. That is one area. Of course for the villages etc. Gram Swaraj, Aat Nirbhar Bharat, local being vocal are the three norms which are being uh, emphasized by the government. And uh, agriculture will definitely have a, a different say. Our prime minister's ambition of doubling the income will get fulfilled. I think it's an opportunity for us to try and create those values. Uh, we have also set up what is called a Kisan e-mart. And fortunately, the law is now changed. You don't have to sell to Mondays. Kisan can directly sell to the platform. We have this platform now built in and we are doing a pilot in Maharashtra. And after we establish and then we can roll it out. So the farmer can directly sell. He can also do sell the crop the moment is gone. So it therefore advantage to farm and he will have a choice. He can still go to Mandi, but he can sell the platform. These reforms this time because of the crisis are going to be very significant. You know, the SDFC of course can become a leader in showing examples to others that how things will improve even if they sat back for some period of time. And uh, we do believe that education, health, 
agriculture are three sectors which will see drastic change in terms of what we deliver what we deliver and of course the government service delivery format will get redefined funding which we've been talking for many years was why not government service cash on delivery why should somebody go to a government office at all and what a redefining of things it will happen it is now going to happen that for anything you need from government you don't have to go to government office just fill up your details send it across it will come back to you and you can pay whatever fees they prescribe for that will be the real transformation i don't think any issues in in creating jobs uh, the migrant labor will continue to be a, a area of concern for the government and uh, we are trying to work with government to try and resolve first their identification and enrollment and trying and do something we also launched a program called uh, something called uh, csc gramin nokri uh, portal uh, this is basically for unskilled people and we're going to link this with the uh, other players who need labor so at least the exploitation labor which is happening in our present system will get contained to that extent and we should be able to bargain better terms and condition for their living and support covid will transform india and make it a real global power and give us due share in the entire world economy uh thank you so much both uh, tagus and smita we seem to have come to an end of this uh, uh, fascinating uh, conversation and uh, you know i at least I'm, i i can sure it you know that i was as spellbound when, while i was listening to you both uh opportunities are indeed uh, infinite as we learned from uh, tagi sir and uh, you smita and it's only a matter of pride for us uh, you know as a bank to be to be uh, you know uh, the chosen partner for uh, you know tagi sir's initiative so thank you so very much